Welcome to an Axion video sponsored by Bankers Anonymous on Business Excel Basics. Let's say your cleaning business has grown and now you're up to 10 customers and you want to use Excel to show your bank exactly how big your revenues have gotten. Now this is such a common business situation adding up a list of numbers that Excel has a number of different ways to do this but I'll just show you the first two. So one way of adding up a list of numbers is to use the equal sign. Remember that's how you tell Excel to do some math for you. And then type in the names of the cells that you want to add with a plus sign between each cell. Once you've typed in all the cells, you hit enter and boom, you get the numbers all added up. Notice again that if you change one of the numbers on the list, Excel automatically adds up the total. Also notice the neat thing that when you double click this formula, Excel puts colored boxes around each of the cells that the formula refers to. This helps you see the math that's going on in your formula in a nice, colorful, visual way. We can also program Excel using particular words. In this case, to tell Excel to add up a list of numbers, we use something called the sum function like this. You type in the equal sign, then the three letter word sum, then an open parenthesis, and then highlight all the numbers that you want to add up, and then close parentheses. This tells Excel that it needs to do the math of adding up every number in that list. When you hit enter and boom, that math is done again. It's also worth noting at this point how Excel records formulas. We used our cursor to highlight the cells we wanted, but Excel recorded it in a particular way. If we look up at the formula bar, it shows first the equal sign, then the starting cell, then a colon, and then the ending cell, and all the cells in between those two get added up. So instead of dragging our cursor, we could also have just typed in a formula that way. Now, just like we added up all the customer revenues, we can add up all the costs. And we can add up the customer profits. Profit, of course, is something our lender is sure to ask us about when it comes time to get a loan. One more Excel math trick before we wrap up this Excel lesson on sums and averages. With any list of numbers, Excel can be programmed to give you an average. So let's just do this underneath the sum. To do an average, we start out by typing the equal sign. Again, to indicate we are programming Excel to do some math, we type the word average in an open parentheses. Next, we highlight all the cells we want to average, in our case, the 10 cleaning customer revenue numbers. And then we type a close parentheses and hit enter, boom, Excel produces the average revenue per customer. Notice if we change the revenue number for one of our customers, both the sum and the average, because they are programmed, automatically update. This kind of math can save us a ton of time when preparing to talk to a bank about our business. With this information, programming Excel to do averages and summation, we continue our journey to tracking our business in Excel which, as I've mentioned before, is absolutely the key to growing our business or talking to a lender about loans. Because remember, rule number one, all business numbers must be tracked in a spreadsheet. When you combine this with other building blocks for learning Excel, like autofill and formatting, we prepare our business for excellence, talking to a bank, and future growth.